One. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai Dot Lifestyle, man. And we got... Life of Trevon. Follow me on Instagram. Life of Trevon. Yeah, man. Today been a good day, man. Listen. If you ain't make no money today... I don't even know what to say about it, man. <laughs> Did you... If you ain't... If, hey, listen. If you ain't approved today, bro... You're not him. What's the topic, man? Listen, man. Girls are delusional. Very. And I'm gonna tell you. And I'm gonna tell you why, bro. Why the fuck I can't walk up to a girl and say, "Hey, what's up? Nice to meet you, bro." Why every time something like that happened now? It's 2023. A girl looks at you and say, mm -mm. "They look at you at your appearance for like two seconds. It's out of here." By me, uh, you look good. They looking for the look good. Mm -hmm. They always want to look good. So once they see you look bummy, they say, eh, get the fuck. But little do they know, you just look at bummy because you want to and you really got money. Why do girls act like that? Like, and then they be calling niggas thirsty because they just trying to, what if they just trying to get a friend? Like, what if they not on that? They they so the, they so determined to when it, whenever any type of nigga approached him, it's just always a he trying to fuck because I look good. He trying to fuck and I'm fucking well for motherfucker just want some friends, some female friends. Fuck, feel me like what's what's wrong with society the way it is today? Listen, I say I say man, females. I'm sorry, bro. Females don't want no no nigga that's that's just a bummy, bro. We don't want no girl that that got a that got a skinny that's skinny. Right, they don't want they don't want no nigga that's bummy. Like, you feel me? They want a nigga that's that's getting the bag. I don't really, you know, why, why should they talk to somebody that's that's ju that's just a bummy? You feel me? I mean, shit, sure, but like, you may they make it to where niggas don't even want to approach them no more. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have this. You gotta have that. You gotta have money. You gotta have. You gotta be smart. You gotta, you gotta be protective. Yeah. You gotta have some type of big ass status to make them wanna. Cause all they doing is use you in the end. I, I don't. I don't know. Like I don't know. I don't really think use you. I mean, it's use. They they trying to use you. I think I think women are are created to, to like, automatically. They want to be protected mentally, emotionally, emotionally, and physically. So they want a man with status. They want a man with money. They want a strong, big, six four guy with dreads, with glasses, that's dark skin. Then you saw the Are you cake. describing yourself? They want. They want a guy like that, man. But you're you not six four though. All right, listen. It's five four. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm six four in the streets and in the sheets. Yeah, girls are very delusional, man. Nigga, <laughs> 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 this is your stream. What you waiting on me to say? <laughs> yeah, he don't know how to control his stream, bro. You gotta keep people entertain listen are you What's not entertained right now man? are you are you struggling with 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 talking to females call 222 22 22 listen listen this is what i'm gonna say bro that's all i gotta say bro 2023 you gotta get to the bag bro Drop a two in the comment. I mean, drop a two in a uh, comment section. If this nigga and I talk about shit, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you niggas to, 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 get, to the, uh, get to the bag, bro. Chat, he ain't talking about chat, shit. Chat, chat, get to the bag. Listen to me, listen to me. He He's a, he's a devil. Get, get to the bag, man. 20... 2023, get to the bag, man. How can I get to the back to run? What's the motivation? I tell you what. For anybody in 2023 trying to make some money, I'm just going to be straight up honest with you. 
you got scamming. And I, I don't condone scamming, but you got scamming. I don't give a fuck about both. It's like, you gonna scare their ass, I ain't gonna scare you, folks. <laughs> and then you got a clothing brand. Everybody want to be in a clothing brand, but I only recommend it if you creative in the head. Got to be creative in the head because you got to make it appeal to your whatever fan base, whatever you're trying to put it on surface, or just the people around you to want to wear it. And then you got trading. Trading. Trading marketing. People people get into that. Uh, you got to kind of be book smart for it. You can't just dive in like it's a swimming pool. You got to be a little bit book smart for it so you don't lose your money. I mean, it's it's going to take time to learn all the steps and shit, but you'll get it. And then you got home sale. You go out, you can you can easily get into that. You just got to know about your LSCs, how to get this this started pack and get your, you know, money. I don't want to get too much into it and then give you guys, you know, free sauce. You feel me? I can't get into that. And then what else you got? You got YouTube. Everybody loves to start on YouTube. YouTube it's like the, the easiest. YouTube is the easiest way to start, but it's up to you to make your channel grow. If your shit ass, your channel is just not going to grow or it's going to go really, really slow. Your shit got to be good. Like, you got to know what you want to do. Because if you don't know what you want to do, it's what are you doing with your YouTube channel? You know, your shit going to be all out of place. I don't want to see this. Like, why is TikTok on your YouTube channel? <laughs> Feel me? And then what else you got? I mean, that's all I really know. To be honest with you. I mean, other than like CDL, like an actual good job, like CDL, being a doctor, something like that. Let me or get doing construction. Let me let me let me, let, let, let me get y'all a little nigga some sauce, man, from from me too, man. That was some good game right there. Listen, bro. The harsh reality of a man. Right? If you're if if you live with your parents right now and you're still young, work two jobs if you can. Work two jobs if you can, man, and stack your bread up. It will be hard, but you gotta do it, bro. Work two jobs. All right, hold on, real quick. I don't know this nigga just stole was what I said to him earlier. Huh, nigga? I, I was working I, two jobs. He, I just said this to him way earlier, y'all. So like, he said, he said what jobs. I said very forward, bro. I was working two jobs. You remember that? I'm the daddy. I'm grown. Yeah, I've I've been through it. I did it for two months straight, and it's kind of hard. But yeah, hard, y'all. But but um, gra- eighteen. But great, but gratefully, I am assistant general manager now, so I, I am doing a little better. But man, if you if you live with your parents, bro. Try to, try to work two jobs if you can. Or if not, just find one good job. Yeah, yeah. Another thing, don't try to move out. I ain't gonna lie. If you're not doing, like, good, like, successful kind of thing, like, you make a big bank, don't try to move out your parents' house, bro. Just just use them until you saved enough money to where you feel comfortable, where you feel like, I don't got to keep using her or my parents for too long. You know what I'm saying? To move out. Don't, don't be quick. Because them bills will hit your ass. Real quick, man. I'm telling you, boy. Just yep. you know, yep. just stack up as long as you can. That's your parents' career. You know and another saying? thing, another thing y'all need to consider is, I I think the best way to make money in life is finding out a skill that everybody needs. Everybody needs fitness. Everybody needs cor- online courses. Everybody needs motivation. Find out a skill that everybody needs day to day, and try to sell it. I think that's that's one of the best that's best skills. Find out what you're good at, and then and then find out how to sell it. It's not real, Chad. It's Smarties. Little Smarties. Oh, that's fake. That's fake as fuck. It's fake. Yeah, that shit fake. You remember, you remember um in middle school we used to like make smoke in my mouth. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck I've been trying to shit lately. What happened to the old good old days? Like back in 2015, motherfuckers used to actually go outside. Uh, uh, social media, social media, bro. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, I do got this bad theory that robots gonna become a big part oh, in our world, sure. and I'm low key scared. We ain't, gonna have no fucking, we ain't gonna have no jobs, bro. All the opportunities gonna be on top. 
All the people that's working at McDonald's and stuff like that in the next couple of years is gonna be fucked. Cause y'all, y'all see how everything just slowly keeps advan advancing and advancing, but like it's it's like it's like a I want to say a one to two every year thing type of thing. Like you just see your local store like Walmart or Target or like all these. You will see like a new cashier register and all that good shit. Yep. And then minute you finna start seeing a robot right there yep. next to that cashier you register. Bro, have you and noticed, bro, bro, have you noticed you went to, like, Walmart, all the lanes closed, except for the self-checkout? Yes, self all the lanes are closed. They want y'all to just use self-checkout. Yeah. Think. What What y'all think finna happen next? Yeah. They gotta build, they gotta put them lines back in the order, you know, then we gotta turn them bitches back on, right. folks. So McDonald's finna be having robots making y'all shit. At mm -hmm. least y'all ain't gonna, gonna have no food messed up. They might not even have robots. It might be programmed to, like, you can select what you want and the machine do it. Mmm. Yeah. What's your deal pick with your ass? Hell no, nah, what's your, <laughs> your Charles Squab head ass? Yeah, he can't even bake for shit. You don't know who Charles Squab is, boy. Top in. I don't know, but that's like your daddy. Listen, bro. <laughs> that's the thing, bro. You, back to what you said about the old days about people going outside. People don't want to go outside no more. Especially kids, but social media is taking over people's lives, bro. Like, I deactivated all my social media, bro, and I feel so good, bro. Productive, I can do everything. I don't compare my life to nobody else. You know, you know when you're on social media, you see like famous people, and you could like you like compare your life to them. So I compare your lives to um, people on social media, bro. Your time gonna come. You wanna know what I hate about social media right now? What? Everybody is trying to be the same. It's like it's like they copy and pasting. I know. Say you say you want say you on social media like say Instagram or Facebook where they where they people post like a quote or a caption real quick just to post it so they can get views. Like say for instance the caption say, um, shit, I don't know, but the, the, whatever the caption is, somebody just go ahead and copy and paste it and then they post the same exact shit. And then, and then somebody else do it. Then they share it, and then they post it, and then they share it, and they post it. And it's like a long ass timeline of the same exact shit, like pictures. People will post the same pictures you. People will post the same videos you. Just to try to get more views than you and make some type of fan base and get clout off of it. Like, what is social media doing to people? Like, it's not good at all for the world. And I wish people would stop using social media so much because if you really realize how long people actually sit on sit on their phone it'll probably shock you a motherfucker you you wouldn't even you wouldn't even know that a motherfucker literally could not get off their phone like they could literally be mm -hmm. like this the whole fucking day just ignoring you it's really people like that for y'all that didn't know yeah. it's people it's people that literally just get up and get on their phone and if you watch this right now I know, I know you one of them people bro you probably you probably is and if you are man you got to change that it's not too, it's not you too need late. to change that. It's not too late to change. Bro, I have no social media on my phone, bro, and I feel so good, bro. I bet you if, feel like shit. Listen, man, listen, 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 fuck off listen, listen, listen. If social media was to go down today, can you survive, bro? Can y'all survive without social media, bro? If it was to go down today. And I think social media... Shit, I know I can't. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, fuck you, Jesus. Whoever can salute to your ass. Fuck Yo, you, I cannot. I can, bro. I only got YouTube on my phone, bro. That's all no, I got. Listen, social media really not bad. It's it's only bad on on how you use it, cause people just be on that scrolling, just like scrolling. Time go by. It's so negative. Two like, two, yeah. two hours go by. Three hours go by. When you could have been working out, making money, doing something productive, reading a book, bro. And you just waste all that time scrolling on TikTok, bro. Yeah, that's just crazy, bro. Just seeing that, like, like, like you said, uh, you you just sit in here wasting hours on your fucking phone. It's fuck right now watching this motherfucker on your phone, knowing you low key hungry and shit, trying to you want to make something to eat, but you don't feel like getting up. Fuck, get your fat ass up and go do a push up or something like. Um, bro, wait, 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 wait. Speaking of push ups, if you watching this right now, bro. I want you to give me 50 push-ups right now, bro. I'm yes, yeah, you, bro. 50 push-ups right now, bro. If you watch this video. Man, you ain't talking to me. <laughs> nah, he talking about your ass. Fuck talking to your ass, boy. 
Spotify your ass, boy. My kids, boy. Click, click off the Twitch stream, then, bitch. You mad because you can't do 50 push ups. You an old ass nigga. Hey, hold on, don't, don't, don't skip, don't skip, don't skip. Don't, 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 why, that's why you, that's why it ain't working. You can't click off the video, bitch. If you don't do it, I hope you'll charge you the shortest in it. Hey, but all the people are work, work out no more. I don't know. All right, this, it's going to get deep. I want to get deep real quick. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about drugs. Mm -hmm. Marijuana. What? Marijuana. Marijuana? Marijuana. Yeah, I think this nigga is African. It's marijuana. Let me see. I'm Nigerian. I just found out. Like really like short for you guys. It's either you're gonna do weed or not, and I'm gonna really tell you. The, I'm gonna tell you why I'm really saying this. So, if you're going through this, let me know. The reason that I'm only smoking weed is because I became so stressed. I feel like I just didn't want to be on Earth no more. So when I when I started smoking weed, I only did it for a month just to see if all this animosity and all these little story tales was true about how you could relieve stress, you feel you feel good, this and that, da da da. Started smoking this shit, motherfucker. I didn't feel good. I feel like I had a, I was having a panic attack. I was PS, PTSD was on my mind heavy. Shit was flying across my head, all type of shit, demonic shit. I was thinking about demons or something. What the fuck going on? I don't think about this shit. It was a little cool though when I was around motherfuckers, but as soon as that shit stopped, boy, I was lonely for that shit. Look, it was scary as hell, boy. I was turning by it. It was hard as hell to turn your neck for. My shit was stiff as fuck. I was doing this, y'all. I was. Oh, what the <laughs> fuck? Why my neck hurt so bad? <laughs> it had been twinkling as hell, boy. I tried to go to sleep when wasn't working. But. Uh, it was, I ain't really, I ain't really know. Like it was, it's like half bad, half good. But you know, you know that shit go fucked up. <laughs> but no, nah, I stopped after that month. I stopped smoking because I wasn't really stressing that bad. I just wanted to see what it felt like, and it was, it was alright. And then I started back. This time, I'm actually overly stressed, and I'm just over life. So, I'm smoking weed, building my tolerance back up. Because remember, I took this I only smoke for like one month straight and then I stopped completely for like four months so I'm I'm smoking weed now I'm trying to get back real high and high I get high that day uh, nigga I'm so high everything is like an after image nigga I'm driving my car it's like pictures somehow I got to the stop sign somehow I got to a turn and then somehow I got to a parking spot and it's out of nowhere I'm yeah, upstairs what the hell is he talking about I, like it's that bad. What the hell am I talking about? That's how it literally felt, nigga. Like every time I closed my eyes, I was either in another spot or I was just stuck in some other spot. Like say I closed my eyes, somehow I like, open my eyes, I'm in the bed, or open my eyes, I'm somehow in the bed, having a bad green out. But after some days, it became easy, and then the stress became like. Free, like stress free. Like it's like whenever I smoked, I was stressed. Like the stress like, went away. But like, when I don't smoke, it's just sitting on my chest, heavy as fuck. Yeah. Like I'm thinking about it all day. Yeah, but like, do you think that's a good thing? Like, smoking only, smoking only temporarily make it go away for a couple hours, and then you right back to reality. That's when you just flame up again. But you can't keep doing that f for too long. You got exactly. That's why I'm trying to get to the point. My, the point that I'm trying to say is don't try to hide your emotions and try to use drugs to fix it because yeah. at this point, I mean, it's getting you through a rainy day, but it ain't going to get you nowhere further down the line. You just mm -hmm. smoke your weed until you actually get over it. It ain't, weed is just there to help you get through it, but it's, it's whenever you decide to actually get through it, that's when you're going to get through it. We're not going to help you get through it. So you're really smoking it for nothing. And that's really my point. Don't smoke weed. Just don't do it. Yeah.
but just don't do it. If it, if it involves you stressful and you trying to find a way to get away from it. Yeah. And I feel like, well, the hard, the hard truth is a lot of people who, who like smoke weed, um, for the, for the, like problem and stuff, they be like, they, they don't want to like face it, like face their problems in real life, which That's ain't, good. which ain't nothing wrong with that. I know it's hard. A lot of times be hard, but just, like, I, 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 I'm lagging right now. Yeah, just a little bit. You good? Oh, uh, what you heard? I heard sh- ain't your shit though, but you good, huh? I said that's based on hard too, right? People who smoke to 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 um have they stress. They they are they are scared to face their problems in the, in the real world, which ain't nothing wrong with that, because sometimes it can be hard. Depends on what the, what you're going through. It can be hard, but it's gonna be worse if you just keep trying to smoke it away. You gotta somehow, you gotta somehow face it some someday. Get you gonna get over it. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Just get a six pack and you'll be good, man. Oh yeah. But I mean, if you don't want to listen to us, I tell you the good side of smoking weed. Everything is better, like. When I say better, I mean, it's like it's like when you smoke weed, you, you gain this superpower. Like you can see everything in slow mo. You can actually understand things if you actually try to focus with your weed. But you being high, fuck a motherfucker saying to you, it's like you can analyze that shit. Like you know exactly what to say back three times. Like it'd be like a you can have like options. Somehow you know exactly what to say if you listen. And then, I mean, the music is better. Everything you hear is, like, two times louder. Like, everything is clear as fuck. Like, you can hear a fucking footstep. Everything tastes better, too. You can taste every taste in that shit. All the way downstairs. And then, don't even... We don't want to get into the food, nigga. When you get the munchies... Oh, my God. But wait, but wait, but wait. Do you think being hot... Do you think the negative outweigh the positive or the positive outweigh the negative? It's balanced. I'm not gonna lie. It's balanced. I don't know, man. It's, it's balanced. It depends on the people, on the on who, who the person is yeah. and how experienced yeah. they is yeah. with it. I'm gonna speak for me personally, right? It's it's, it's a couple positive, which is like you can hear music better, you vibe better, confidence. I like when I'm having my confidence. A lot of dick it, game, it's, yo. It's, yeah. Yeah, my, my confidence is high. Like I can, it's, it's like I can stroke it, bitch. Damn. Yeah, and Segments. then and then and then uh, food tastes better. But I think I think it's mostly like negative for me because when I when I be high, I don't want to go to the gym. I don't want to do nothing but sit down and just chill, which is not good. But it it might be it might be different for other people. But when I'm high, I just want to chill. That's why I stopped. I only did it like four times. I only been high like four times before. Fuck with man. When I'm high, boy, if you see me at a basketball court high, nigga, just know I'm not missing a damn shot, boy. When you high and you jump. And you go for a shot, nigga, you can feel everything in your arm, the flick, the wrist, and you get that you get that little extra little aim time because you are everything in slow motion, boy. I'm not boy, what was I once I tried that shit? Kobe. <laughs> once I tried that shit, I had four motherfucker I ate this one shot, folks. And he thought, and he thought the shit was going, in. and he thought the shit was going in in real life. That shit was missing. Ain't a lot of, ain't a lot of, one of them business was an air ball for that shit hit me in the forehead. <laughs> But I got back hey, up. <laughs> hey, if you ever, hey, listen, if you ever so high that your elbow hit you in the forehead, bro, don't do that shit again, bro. That shit was fun. Cause that, cause that mean, everybody started that, looking at me. Look that means you gotta shoot the three, elbow, and then run to the ball and get hit in the head. <laughs> you know hey, like, I, I ain't know where that bitch was at, boy. That, <laughs> that motherfucker came down. Bop. <laughs> I'm right here, bitch. Bop. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> That motherfucker hit my nose too, boy. My nose sensitive as hell, for That motherfucker right chop my little ass. Yeah, that's all bleeding. Y'all ever seen the video with that crackhead with the basketball? It was real. He say, "Yeah, what the hell?" Is that? <laughs> but yeah, man. Probably it just depends on who you are, man. Try for yourself if you want. Try for yourself, man. But never do it 
to be cool, bro. I know a lot of people will do it just to be cool, try to fit in and shit like that. Don't be what don't be one of them. I know a lot, bro, in school, bro. Fuck. I mean, how long did you say we've been talking for? Shit, 25 minutes, exact. Mm, cool. Okay, man, we got five more minutes. We got five more minutes, man. Listen, tune in. You ain't got nobody watching? Listen, all it's, it's recorded, it's not streaming. Okay. It's not streaming right now, yeah. We live off the dome. Listen, man, if y'all watching this right now, bro, if y'all made it this far in the vid, y'all might as well hit that like button and, and subscribe, bro. And if you don't, if you don't do it, the man with the red eyes, he go, hey, you, hey, listen, you know when you go to sleep and you leave your feet under the cover, out, out the cover, and it's hanging off the bed, somebody go yank that motherfucker. <laughs> hey, hey, do people really be scared of that bro, shit? Oh, yes, bro, I always, bro, nigga, <laughs> what if somebody yank your shit? What are you doing, bro? <laughs> like, are you, do you, do you sleep in the dark? Yes, nigga. So it may it be harder for you folk. You sleep in the dark? No, I gotta have a light on. I'm not going for none of that shit. I, you don't sleep in the dark, nigga? I can't, and my dad told me a reason why I shouldn't, so I was like, hey, that makes too much don't sense. Don't tell me. Is it scary? That, hell yeah, that's no, scary. Don't I don't know why. Me. I don't I don't, don't know why y'all sleep in the dark. Don't tell me. But that. just let me tell well, I gotta tell the viewers because they nigga, won't wanna nigga, know. Bro, don't tell me, bro. Bro, come on now. Don't I ain't gonna make it that scary. I ain't gonna make that shit got me looking back at shit, folks. It is that scary. Bro, bro. I ain't don't, gonna make it I, scary. Nigga, listen, listen. Don't tell me, bro. Don't say it, bro. The hey, hey listen, listen. Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna do like this. If you want him to say it, bro, comment if y'all want him to say it in the next vid, bro. Comment right now if y'all if y'all want him to tell it the next vid, bro. Because I don't know, bro. He's scared, folks. I don't even know. It's just... I ain't going, folks. Like. No, boy. I don't play that shit. Boy, you got a chop. You'll be straight. That bitch got one bullet in that motherfucker. That one bullet better kill his ass. What do you... Is it a... It's like people... It's like ghosts or some shit? No, nigga. Pe oh, like people robbing you or something? Like type yeah, shit? yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you the story because he went through it. Nigga, listen. <laughs> Somebody climbed through his window? Look. I ain't chat. So my dad, this is the way my dad told me. I don't really remember it because it was a long time ago. So basically, my dad was asleep and nobody was in the house. And I think this at this time, he was living, living in his grandma house in Chicago. Now, at this time, this nigga is like a fuck Nigga, like, own, like, areas. Like, when he go to an area... Everybody fucking know this nigga. Like, when I was a kid and I was riding in the car with him, I'm like, how the fuck do all these people know you? Like, this nigga step out the car, this nigga like a fucking superstar. And then he's just walking the alleys and, you know, going upstairs telling me to sit here and sit here. This nigga got like a a pound, like a bag, like a bag. He got like a white, he got like, a, he got like sessions off. He got like a whole uh, stash of green shit. And then like, and then like in some pockets, it's like white bricks and shit. I'm like, I ain't know what that shit is. I ain't get no fuck. Nigga told me just turn around and don't look, don't turn back around. Like, don't some don't look type shit. Going through that shit, one of the one of the houses we had here, we had we had like a little counter, and like my pops, like he 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 hit his ass with that. Yeah, you gonna you gonna give you gonna give me that money you owe me. I'm gonna let you slide with that one. He like, yeah, all right, bitch. I don't know who you think you is talking to me. Well, I don't get no fuck who you is. He, all right, look at my son with me. We we walk back to the car. Go back to the car. Man, you, my dad, my dad sleep. My dad sleep in the dark. I sleep. I sleep uh with the light on, but I had got took him back home, so he was by himself at that point. Man, you, we were we in his grandma house. His grandma not that she in the hospital getting checked up on. Boom. This nigga say he went to sleep around three, four in the morning. He wake up, but it's like he do this thing to make sure ain't nothing like breaking his house. So he just he just wake up, but he keep his eyes closed and he just listen for a second. He just listen for like a minute. No movement. And then he hear like he had something like this, like he had like 
like I can't really describe it, but it's like a soft footstep. And it was like really, really, really fucking close. Like it wasn't an ordinary footstep that was like you 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 could tell it was behind the door. It was a footstep that was inside the door. Bro. Now my my dad said his heart started to like beat hard as hell and it's completely silent. So you could damn near hear his damn heart beating. Got up. Like how can I explain this shit? The second he got up, he turned, and that nigga was right there in his face. When I said, I, I'm getting chills because the way my dad handled it. It's not. Wait, so this nigga has so a. This, okay, so look. My dad my dad has a shotgun that he keeps. It's, it's a sawed-off shotgun that he keeps on the side of his bed. It's either on the side of his bed or somewhere around him that's real close that he can just reach or, like, jump over and get, and it'll be right there. The, the nigga, when he jumped up, the nigga was right there, and he tried to whack his ass with a gun. My dad immediately jumped up and grabbed his shotgun, kicked dude, and then he shot his ass. And just like that, it was that. I was like, "Wow!" And he ain't know he was even in, in the in the room because it was dark. He couldn't see shit. It was that dark in the room. Did the other the did anybody in did the other dude know your dad was in the room? I don't know shit. He killed him. I don't know that at that point. I don't, I don't remember too much more after that. That was a long time ago. What the fuck? Nah. But yeah, that, and that's why I'm like. That shit dead. I'm gonna just sleep with some type of light on so I can see a shadow, something, whatever that shit dead. I need to see. Second I wake up, I no, need to know thing. if that's are, a shadow. Are you, are you a heavy sleeper? Or something else. Me? Nah, not really. Yo, dead part is a heavy sleeper. That shit dead. And, and plus, I, I keep my door locked. Was. I keep my door locked. My door never stay unlocked, bro. Motherfuckers know how to pick a door, folks. All you gotta do is look at it, see if it's pickable bro, if or not. You, if you're picking a door in my house, I'm going, nigga, I hear everything, bro. I sleep like. Trust me, I hit everything, bro. I ain't going for none of that. I mean, but it's going to take for you to get up and grab your gun. That's the thing. I know, but listen. That's what I'm sleeping with. My gun in the bed. Motherfucker ain't catching me like <laughs> Shit. I'm not getting no for shit. I'm pop your ass while I'm laying down. That's why y'all niggas need to get y'all a guard dog, man. Which, when y'all live with, by y'all self, bro. I'm getting a guard dog. I yeah. already got that shit. I works. recommend y'all get set. a guard dog, bro. What kind of dog you trying to get? I think I'm going to get a pit bull. I don't know, bro. So, so my, cause I'm, I'm little. I'm only 5'8". Yeah, I'm, I'm not that hard, tall. I'm not that tall. But I know a pit bull. Them, them niggas. Train, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take his ass to the West name. Was hard to train. So, so to the professional, you should, you should to get train, you something that's like more easy to train. It's either I get the pit bull or the uh, canine. Get a canine, bro. That shit easy. They easy to train, bro. They more loyal. You. They wait. Pit bull turn on niggas. Canine more loyal, you, bro. And you really ain't got to train them like that. They smart as fuck. They like humans. Or I get a golden retriever or a rock rider. A rock rider. A rock rider do the job <laughs> for sure, bro. You gonna bite their ass? They nuts. <laughs> You ain't got to worry about catching a dog. Got to worry about a dog. Get your ass. All right, y'all, man. Come on, man. Chop. This, I just, man, this shit been, this shit been um, 33 minutes, bro. If we get, if, 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 listen, if we change our lives a little bit, man, leave a like, bro. You feel me? All right. We out, bro.